Okay, so this is Pratipada Sapde, who is currently uh, working as a teacher in a Montessori, which is somewhat like a nursery. All right, so can you give us a brief of your career and what your main motivation was to work as a teacher? So as I mentioned to you earlier, Johan, I was a banker by profession. And then when I had children, I decided to become a Montessori teacher. Uh, the Montessori, I, the Montessori normally starts from the age of two and can go up to grade six. Um, I am the entry level teacher and the oldest Montessori in Mumbai. Uh, I, it's basically in welcoming children as early as 1.9 years to two years and getting them ready for uh, your high school. You start basically with, um, you know, teaching them the regular stuff that a regular nursery would teach. Uh, like your alphabets, colors, animals. But we also have something called EPL, which is the exercise of practical living, where we teach a child things that are done every day at home and education to everyday activities. And uh, the, the beauty of Montessori teaching is that the children are based as per their ability, not as per necessarily an age. So if I have a child who's exceptionally bright, he will move ahead in the next course of things that I teach him versus the child who hasn't picked up the concept and the child will automatically just go up or go ahead because he's older. The other difference with the Montessori teaching is that we teach phonics and language very differently. It's a very phonics based education. It is not letter based. And it's proven that Montessori uh, kind of uh, language helps uh, children to be much early readers and uh, better languages than other stuff. And oh, as, far, yeah, as far as my career goes, as I told you, I was a banker. I started doing this when my children joined Montessori. And I really liked what I saw. And I was ready to give up the corporate world and do something which, to me, is far more fulfilling. All right. So what guidance do you have for students who are looking to pursue their passion and also for students who are looking to teach in a Montessori or, say, a nursery? So the, any person who wants to get into early childhood education, because that's what the whole, uh, uh, you know, the whole area is called early childhood, would have to be firstly qualified. I would say something like a regular BA initially would be fine. Knowledge of uh, psychology greatly and immensely helps because you have to understand what who you're teaching. You're teaching somebody who can't really speak initially and you know, you, you have to love children. You have to have Im immense patience and you have to understand that no two days or no two hours of your life are ever going to be the same. Because you're dealing with a dynamic that's so vast. You know, you're, talking about, you're dealing with basic humans and then you're dealing with humans who are incredibly small. And every day is a new situation. And you, you can plan your day, you can plan your month, you can plan your week. But, you know, every day is up to a challenge. It's a fabulous job. But as I said, uh, you need that. You need, it's best if you could have an uh, early childhood degree as well. There are lots of courses available online and also universities have what they call early education uh, courses. But if you want to be a Montessori teacher, you also have to do a specialized Montessori course, which in Mumbai is run by RTI. And there is Montessori, uh, there are lots of Montessori institutions all over India. So this will be in addition after your basic bachelor's. All right. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Prati. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you. Bye.